Hey friends, it's me, your pal, Kelly Zemnickus, and gosh, welcome to episode number 25 of It'll Be Fine. Um, 2020 still a clusterfuck. I was hoping that would have changed by now, but it hasn't. Uh, but, but we're going to get through it, guys. It's going to be okay. It's going to be good. Just breathe. Just breathe into the bread pudding that we're making today. We're doing some chocolate bread pudding with the very funny and the uber creative. This guy is so much on the go. Jeremy Fisher is on the show today. Uh, we're going to talk about his podcast. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the fact that he worked on Star Wars. What? He did. Uh, and we're going to make something tasty. And we're just going to eat our feelings. It's going to be fine. I need a blanket. The teddy bear. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hey, friends, welcome to episode number 25 oh of God. It'll Be Fine. Cheers. Cheers. To Got that. the vino going. Oh, yeah. I'm your friend Kelly Zemnickus, and this is Jeremy Fisher. Thank you so much for coming by. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh my God. I am so excited, A, because there's delicious bread yeah. in the kitchen right now. That you've I've, already half eaten. I've already half eaten. I don't know if you guys can see on the fridge, but we're making today bread pudding. pudding. Some Scrabble going on here. Yeah. I had to do it that way because uh, my letter set from the dollar store doesn't include enough letters. Oh, you had only two Ds? Oh, I will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it also said it was a letter and number set, and there uh, were no numbers. Well, that's false advertising. Totally. Sue them, and then use that money to save yourself. <laughs> from use the, the extra dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'll show you guys here. This is, uh, look at this, man. Mm. There was more. She just oh. had to shrink the container. There was. That's true. I, I feel like I'm too tall for this. You're not too tall. I am just like if I, I have to stand back not here. as, yeah. Hey, I've started shrinking. We got to do like that. Uh, that <laughs> Near and far. Yeah, we'll just do it the, and look in different go. directions. Yeah. Be very arty. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we're using today, guys, making a chocolate bread pudding. Mm. If bread pudding wasn't enough, we're throwing chocolate in it. Yeah. We're going to Curtis Stone's. What's for dinner? Curtis Stone's. I, uh, speaking Who of tall, this, this is an Australian chef. Mm. Uh, he had a show on... Uh, <laughs> He had a show on TLC when TLC used to show cooking shows, uh, like full time. It was called Take Home Chef, mm -hmm. and he would appear in a grocery store and be like, "Hey, what are you making? Let me come home with you." I so he would just like go into people's houses. Yeah, so they did that. This was like I think in the early two thousands, late nineties mm -hmm. or so. It was still socially acceptable. Yeah, to uh, <laughs> stalk someone yeah. in a grocery store. Uh, but I developed such a crush on this guy. And uh, I got to meet him a few years ago. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a Toronto food and wine show oh, at I the Brickworks. I you were going to say your house. You just showed up one day. I just went to Australia. <laughs> like, I must find Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the ingredients for this aren't too bad. This is going to take you about an hour or so. So yeah. an easy peasy dinner. Perfect. Um, You're going to stick with through this whole hour. Yeah. Which is the <laughs> point of this cookbook. It's recipes for a busy life. Mm. Do you have a busy life, Jeremy? Yes. Yes, I do. What do you do for a living? I, friends. I work at a movie studio converting 2D movies into 3D. And did you work on a film called Star Wars? I did. I did oh my work God. on Star Wars. I'm such a fan. Yeah, I worked on Star Wars. I can fan. only tell you the stuff that I've that I've previously worked on. I can't tell you what I'm working on right now because I'll right. actually get fired if I do that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, don't what else? We worked on Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. So oh that was gosh. exciting. That's super exciting. It was really cool because we got to see all, like all the green screen stuff. So like he was at, he had like a green screen parrot. Like if you've seen the movie, he's got a little yeah. parrot, but he's just like petting a little green plushie. That's so <laughs> cool, uh, fellow. I've spoken about this before on the show, mm -hmm. but I dated a guy who worked on Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, because they did post production for Game of Thrones here mm -hmm. in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. There's and, a studio that that's over by yeah, where I am that actually does that. He was on Dragons. Oof. Yeah. That would so, have been exciting. It was exciting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the relationship didn't work, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm proud of him. Yeah. Good job. The dragons looked pretty damn good. Nice. Um, all right. So let's show the friends at home. I mean, like they're technically not dragons. Just putting that out there, they're wyverns because dragons yeah. have four legs. They only have two. They use their front, they use their wings as their legs. So just classifying that for people. <laughs> just going all nerd right now. 
I have I have nothing to counter it's to okay. that. Because I'm like, no, nah, okay. It's like, whatever, I didn't even watch it anyway. <laughs> I didn't even know what's, what's happening. <laughs> Uh, fact, I saw one episode. I yeah. was like, this isn't for me. Literally, it's just eight yeah. movies Nor about... Nor was that relationship. The whole, the whole war was about a brother and sister fucking each other. Good boy, can I swear? You can say all the fucking oh. words you want. Oh, cool. Yeah, But amazing. yeah, it was pretty much just about a brother and sister having sex with each other, and that's the whole war. Yeah. And then a very disappointing ending. Much like after sex. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's always amazing. Oh. I'm kidding. Who are you doing it with? At no one. Do um, they have any pointers? <laughs> <laughs> My mom's watching. Oh. Uh, yeah. Just does she watch every episode? Hey, Elizabeth. She does. Oh, that's sweet. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hello. All right. So uh, you're going to need bread for this. <laughs> <laughs> to soak up the awkwardness. Yeah. No, okay. Mm. <laughs> I am kidding. Um, you are going to need some butter at mm. room temperature. Vegan. Uh, not vegan butter, but mm. heck, if you want to go wanna. vegan, you can totally do that. We are going to be using eggs for this, um, but there's a way around I'm that. I'm not vegan. I got. Yeah. I just try vegan dishes just to like, it's mainly for the health benefits. I don't care about the you animal. You totally could. Yeah. No, you totally could. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how, but in the comments section, if you know how to make a good bread pudding vegan, uh, note it and maybe we'll make it That'd on a cool. future episode. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're going to want unsalted room temperature butter. Why unsalted? And salted is good because you're adding an ingredient that either might already be there mm -hmm. with extra salt put in the recipe. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't call for any salt. Interesting. Um, but if you're doing a recipe where there's like a tablespoon of salt, a mm -hmm. teaspoon of salt, and you use salted butter, you're adding more salt. Interesting. So if you go that route and you use salted butter, don't put the salt that's needed in the mm -hmm. recipe. So just a, a fun little, fact. Little fun fact. Fun fact. Huh. Like a exactly. <laughs> Some sugar, granulated. Mm. What else do we have here? Oh, uh, we got what? We got some chocolate, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Enjoy life exactly. for now. Now these are, <laughs> yeah, the world's kind of fucked. Uh, but <laughs> bread pudding's gonna make it better, guys. Yeah. We're gonna eat our feelings. Oh, nice. Um, like enjoy life is kind of cool because it's non-GMO. It's non-GMO. It's vegan. It's gluten-free. It's very allergy-friendly. So mm. there you go. What else we got here? We got some vanilla. Vanilla with a fancy cap. Mm. You know. That's um, really cool. And this, this? that I got at Pusa Terry's today's unofficial sponsor. Because <laughs> um, I got a gift card for. Oh, okay. uh, Christmas and I could <laughs> and afford. And you finally used it. I I just purposely went for things that I couldn't usually afford, like no, yeah. lemon pear marmalade, <laughs> which is delicious. Yeah. Uh, and Mexican vanilla. Nice. Which is what makes fancy. it Mexican? It was from Mexico. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're also going to need uh, brown sugar for this recipe. Mm. Uh, I don't have any, but I have coconut sugar. Oh, is it all uh, the same? It's not the same at all. How do they? It's less sweet. So I didn't if, even know coconuts had that kind of sugar. This is a thing. Uh, you can buy it so at Sobeys. You can get like milk and you can get sugar from a coconut? Yeah. Yeah, and you That's can make it. fudge out of, out of an avocado, which we just did with him oh, this bear. How was that? Oh, good grief. Best fudge ever. Really? Go back, watch the episode after this one. Oh. It's so good. I love fudge and, and I love avocados, so I mean. Then you're in. Yeah. You're in. It's okay. so good. Um, but coconut sugar is less sweet. So if you've got to watch the blood sugar, maybe you're hypoglycemic mm -hmm. or a diabetic, go for coconut sugar. Yeah. Uh, we're going to use this today because it's what I had and it's going to be fine. It will be fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to be back. We're going to get started. We're heading to the KitchenAid, guys. Have you used one before? Um, no. Oh, it's gonna I, be good. I don't even bake, so I mean, this is, <laughs> is going to be great. I just cook. I'm a cook. I'm not a baker. <laughs> Just cracking some eggs. Oh no! What just the fell? Bowl. The bowl. The bowl. The book. Uh, the book. book. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, we're just cracking some eggs, guys. We need five eggs. We need the yolk and the uh, and the egg. Uh, hey guys. We uh, forgot. Kelly's forty-two. She forgets. Shit. It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, you're gonna need whole milk for this. We're going with oat milk. Mmm, vegan. Have you had oat milk before? It's Oat. very creamy. I've had uh, almond milk. Okay, this is creamier. Super good. Yeah. Uh, one of my faves. So when Family Guy does an episode where they're like, "Oh, you can make milk out of anything these days," and they like, "Oh, you can have gene milk." <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for the KitchenAid? 
Yes. Use the force. I got the eggs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. That was terrible. All right. So what we are going to I'm do. The top of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to take two and a half cups of heavy cream. So the little guy, the little box here. Two and a half cups. Yeah. So do two of those and then half of one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Soup's fun. So we're going to do this. And then we are going to be adding, as I say, we're going with oat milk. Um, we are going to need one and a quarter cups of oat milk. Okay. Okay. And then that is going to go in here with oh, the this eggs. This is like all the heavy cream. Do it. Then just we use what you got, man. Maybe we'll add in a little bit more whole milk. Maybe. Uh, okay. Well, that was like two and a half, so. Sweet. And how much okay, was this perfect. One? And then this is going to be one and a quarter. So one of these guys. Oh my God. And then one of, man. I don't want to, I don't want to spill this everywhere. You won't. It'll be fine. It'll be fine if I spill it out. Okay. Now we are going to take, well, the recipe says brown sugar. We're using coconut, which is fine. It's just less sugar. It's kind of, it's kind of healthier. Mm -hmm. Right, Jeremy? Yes. Right? Because yeah. we're trying to be healthy today, okay? Exactly. So we're going to just add this in. Oh, all of it. All of it. Oh pretty God. measured. Okay. We're making it in like our own little island. Exactly. Mm. Safe from... Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Just like make a little island with like the chocolate milk stuff? I made uh, pillow forts. I did uh, like pillow forts with, uh, you know, the cushions. Oh, yeah. That yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> Those were... I should do that now as an adult. I feel like that would be good. All right. Uh, the next thing we're going oh, to I should, need... I should, I should help you with this. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so we're going to need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Again, one and a half teaspoons. Yeah, not tablespoons. Can't stress enough. Tea. Teaspoons. Which are the smaller ones. Exactly. So there's half. Oh my god, this thing. It's falling over. <sighs> the book thing's falling over. Alright, and then I believe that is everything. Do a nice over the shoulder. Thank you. Yeah. And then pat some on your ears because it smells nice. Um, I have nowhere to go after this. It's fine. Alright, so and we then just we'll, mix it then what together. We'll do. Ready? Lock in. And whisk. Jeremy is modeling. We're modeling. This is nice. <laughs> well, we've hey. made uh, the stuff on the KitchenAid, and it's now going to go with the bread. Yes. So if you want to take that off the KitchenAid there, just twist it off. Twist it. Twist Bop it good. Um, alrighty. I feel like we forgot. Did I forget the butter? Did you forget the butter? Wait. Nope. Oh, no, the butter goes after? It goes it after. Look? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Doesn't we go know in what this we're mix. doing. Okay. We, we're professionals. Yeah. We're pro I can pan correctly. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and my hands are washed. I'd show you this, but I'd spill it everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. So <laughs> basically, you're just going to add this. All of it. All of it. So we're adding the bread. There's a good angle. You see what <laughs> I'm doing? And you're just wanting this to have a bath. It's like taking a nice mm. bath. It's uh, relaxing from the news yeah, of the world. Yeah, mud bath. Yeah. Exactly. I could go for one of those right now. I've never taken one. Have you ever been in a mud bath? I, uh, have I ever been in a mud bath? No. There's this great place, uh, it's for women only, so you can't go. Of course. Um, but it's called a Body Blitz in Toronto. They have two locations, and you can go sit in a salt bath and have some salt. It's oh, I want to do like those tanks, like where it just like isolates you in complete darkness, and you're just there with your thoughts. I don't know about, oh yeah, there's one like, on the like, Danforth. There's like a, it's called like Float or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one on the Danforth. It used to be Bad Dog Theater, which is now at Bloor and Ossington. Okay. But that used to be a comedy club. My name's probably still on the back wall. Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, fun fact. Uh, Why is your name on the back wall? Because we all signed it when the oh, okay. place was closing. That's cute. Yeah, now. And uh, they closed because they couldn't get a liquor license. And then the location became an LCBO. <laughs> course because <laughs> irony yeah. um you're gonna need a dish like this by the way for baking mm -hmm. and so right now speaking of baking while this just settles in let's we're just get pan, pan down again we're not gonna <laughs> get baked but we're gonna, sure let, can. we're gonna let this soak and then you're gonna turn your oven what does the cookbook say jeremy uh, isn't it like normally 350 uh, uh 350 yeah so uh fahrenheit your... by the way fahrenheit, fahrenheit yes Do it um, the real way <laughs> It's not the real way. <laughs> so uh, do that with your oven. Get that to 350. This puppy, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I know we have to just stand here and look at each other for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes, not 
Am I talking? In the first, uh, first one, be a perfect speller in 30 minutes. So you can spell your obvious. It's really obvious for you. <laughs> I love these cigarette ads too. Oh yeah. They're so great. It's time to change to fill. Look at this kid, just hawking cigarettes. I wonder how old he lived to be. Our human comedy. What is, is this about? Comedy? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this story, guys. The woman who never learned to cook. What kind of world do we live in? She married in haste and found out she had a husband on probation. Oh, God. lovely the oven just uh just went off so we are good there now what we are going to do is put this in the oven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it on uh did you preheat it i did preheat it perfect well, are we with the spoon? yeah just leave the spoon there step two of the recipe is uh preheating your oven mm -hmm. so what we're going to do with this we're going to grab another spoon and uh, we're going to fold in the chocolate. chocolate. Now, uh, I have to confess, uh, the butter should have gone in the pan first. It should have. It's all going to bake together. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, that song is from My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady, the musical with Audrey Hepburn. See, My I'm girlfriend not... actually um, dressed up as her for, for one of her Halloween. Amazing. Yeah, she had like the... Um, the cigar thing, uh, everything. It was really cute. So nice. Yeah. My friend Heather recently had a baby and named her Audrey. Uh -huh. After Audrey Hepburn. It's actually hey, a Heather nice name. and Audrey. And Jeremy, her awesome hubby. Okay, <laughs> so uh, this is going to go into the oven for about 50 minutes. 50? Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to just stir at each other again for 50 minutes. We did a little cooking class. Oh, you kept it. I did, and look. Did you get him to sign it? Oh, damn. Bon appetit, Curtis Stone. You didn't get him to sign the book? <laughs> he did. Oh, so he signed two things for he you. He did, I'm just, uh. So uh, one's just in case gotta... he the other. There we go. I kept them both, man. <laughs> I kept them both. Stop judging me. I'm All right. judging, I'm just asking. Just an answers with Jeremy and Kelly. All the right. art of conversation. Is there a word you tend to overuse? Um, um. <laughs> like. Use like. I feel like I use like a lot. If you guys ever see my podcast, It's Bananas with Jeremy Fisher, I, I'm pretty sure I use like a lot. It's a fantastic podcast. I don't think I use you know. I, I think I've, I've scaled back on that because I've yeah. noticed I say that too much, especially during my with my stand-up too. Okay. Yeah. Watching the show back, uh, I say exactly exactly so much exactly <laughs> it's it's the drinking game it's yeah. the it'll be fine drinking game i totally forgot my drink all right your question hmm no who are your favorite heroes of history oh that's a good question who are my favorite heroes of history Um, that's a really good question. You don't have a hero? I feel like the obvious answer you would... have, like, a superhero. Well, Batman. Yeah, why Batman? He's not even a good superhero, okay? <laughs> he's got the cave and the... So? I'm kidding. Thor has a cape and he's powerful. Yeah, why, well, you're... <laughs> Cause some anger here. Um... <laughs> He's got money. He can't even be like Iron Man. Just create something, a cool suit. I feel so strange fight, that, can, like, I don't know the answer to that. He fights one guy at a time. I hope <laughs> Alex Brobadani is watching this. I genuinely want to go for, like, uh, you know, the the women who, who got women voting. I mean, that's... Who was that? Well, just the suffragettes who who started that movement S specifically. I don't know. Come on, I don't. I know don't. Either. But, but if you that, do know, put it in the comments. That is what comes. That would be yeah. a hero to me, like that yeah. ability to go vote, because I think it's important to go use your voting rights. And if yeah. you're or if you're watching, they'll, they'll be finished the voting by the time this airs, right? <laughs> in the U.S. No, they're never done. American oh, elections take forever. Man. Really. 
It's because they gotta go You're not aware of how long they're campaigning. I don't even the, know. I, I, I barely... They're campaigning the moment that they get elected for the next one. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> um, all right, finish this statement. Okay. I really appreciate it when somebody. Oh, I thought you wanted. No, you're gonna finish. Oh, I really appreciate it when somebody uh, gives me a compliment. I like that. Just like a nice, that genuine nice. compliment. Just like out of like, out of the blue. I like the out of the blue compliments. Yeah, yeah. I because uh, I, I feel like people don't compliment enough. No, not they at don't. All. No, no. And like when you hear it, it's just like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> you feel all good inside. <laughs> you do. You do. Um, I think for me. Uh, I, I, as friends of the show know, I host at a brunch restaurant, which will remain nameless. Um, so I want to do all that. I love it. We're right? just not saying where I work. Um, I mean, you could follow her like that Australian guy. <laughs> <laughs> but on the weekend, I had a young boy. It was very, it was super busy. We were having, I was telling you, average wait times of like 60 to 75 minutes. It was packed. Mm -hmm. And this young boy came back with tulips for me. Aww. His mom and him came back for brunch. Did he steal them out from the garden that's in the front? Wherever he got them, the gesture was appreciated, buddy. That was the sweetest thing. They're on my table right How now. many episodes of the podcast have you done so far? Uh, 31. Nice. And it's yeah. it's bananas. It's bananas Check with Jeremy Fisher. Yeah. yeah. I did an episode. She did. Thanks for having me on that. Yeah. That was Thank super fun. Thank you for having fun. me on this one. Oh, my pleasure. Podcast share. Exactly. Exactly. If you have a podcast, get us both yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> share the love, guys. Um, Hey friends, awesome. the bell rung, oh my gone. god. Okay, the fire alarm is totally gonna go off, so I apologize, I have a very sensitive. You don't have any fans? No. Is this place gonna burn? No, we're not gonna burn, Jeremy, it's gonna be fine. Holy crap, okay, look at this. Ooh wee. Oh my gosh, Look at them beautiful. chocolate chips over the shoulder. Ooh, that pull out method. Hi, oh my gosh. Ooh. This is beautiful. Oh <gasps> yes. Oh, it's our first bread pudding. You can still hear the chocolate sizzles. Oh, I am so excited. Now you're gonna want to give this a few minutes to Are you cool sure? down. You just don't want to eat it right now? We can burn our tongues if you want, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. But yeah, take a look. We're gonna be tucking into this very shortly. Mm. This looks fine, guys. To the oh, jazzy yeah. tunes. We're back. Hey guys, we're back on It'll Be Fine. A baking oh, show. Oh, indeed, a baking show indeed. Look what we made today, guys. Oh yeah. Bread pudding. Is that as far as it goes? It's as far as it goes. We're, uh, we're going to show you a nice photo at the end of the show. A nice full shot. There we go. Yeah. Ta-da. Nice. Oh my god. This looks delicious. I... If you didn't follow along, then you're missing out, <laughs> by the way. So uh, what we were using once again was this cookbook, Curtis Stone, What's for Dinner. Um, a really easy to use cookbook, mm -hmm. I find. Um, he makes it really simple with the idea that, uh, let's just get, let's get me in the shot. Yeah. There we go. Which is all be about me, okay? I know, exactly. Exactly. Uh, but uh, <laughs> see, I say exactly, yeah, like exactly. constantly. Don't drink when I say that word on this show. You'll be drunk very fast. But he makes the cookbook uh, in a way that, you know, if it's Monday, Friday, you know, Monday, Tuesday, you don't want to waste a lot of time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to take a moment and turn on down the Google Home. Is there an app playing right now? There is. Yeah. Hold up. Are you on Spotify? I am not. Oh, what do you want? What is it using? Where's the ads coming from? Stop asking the questions, Jeremy. We're not even getting paid for these ads. And we're back. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're gonna serve this uh, much like you would uh, a bread, well, uh, like much a, like a pudding is what I'm yeah. trying to say. I am overwhelmed pudding. by the smell. A chocolate bread pudding. Fuck, this smells good. Okay. It does. So let's ding. Do this. Where can uh, folks follow you on the socials? On the socials, find, uh, I'll plug in my socials. You can yes. find me on Instagram at it's Jeremy Fisher. Same thing with Twitter. It's the exact same thing. Nice. Um, check out my Facebook page. It has like 174 Look at this, people. Guys. That looks delicious. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah. And if you guys want to check out my show, It's Bananas, check it out on YouTube or uh, any other podcast place. Just look up It's Bananas with Jeremy Fisher. You'll find it. 
the Find yeah. Kelly's episode? Yes, you will. Do you remember we what did, episode number you were? We did the last episode of 2019. The That's last right. episode oh my gosh, of the decade. That was, in December. I think that was 24. It feels like it was 97 years ago right now. It does. <laughs> but, uh, fuck. Man, look yeah. at this, guys. Look at... You, if, can you see the steam, Paul? You can see a little bit of it. Uh, hey, and there's a Star Wars comic on the wall there. There is. Uh, um, did you get it signed? I did not. I found no. it at a flea market. So people sometimes ask me, "What? Why that? Why that copy?" I'm like, "I don't." You just happen to find it. I just happen to find it, and I love Star Wars, so I it one worked. One Star out. Wars comic, just one. Nice. I Did you up. get yours signed? No, I didn't, unfortunately. But I um, knew somebody that was at my work. They were like selling all their comics. Oh. And they had oh. like yeah, they had like uh, over two hundred of them. So I'm like, I'll buy them for like five hundred bucks. She's like, sure. Yeah. All right, Hell are you yeah. ready? I'm ready. Well, cheers. All right. I'm going to go this way. Mm. Whole, whole so goodness. Much. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. It's very moist. Oh. Oh, this is good. I'm tearing up. It's not because of the hot chocolate? No, because this is fucking awesome. <laughs> oh my. We did it. Mm. I'm done. I don't need a boyfriend. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Oh, guys, I am speechless. This is more satisfying than that. <laughs> it's been a while since I was on a this date. This is something you'll just... want to put in your mouth. <laughs> oh. I can't, I can cry, like, this is so good. Just go home. Like me go home? No, the no. viewers. Just leave us alone. Yeah. Just We just need a... Just put us on pause. It's okay. <sighs> wow. This was fine, guys. I think yeah. this is better than fine. This was very satisfying. We should change the episode to, like, it'll be great. Just for this one episode. I will call this bread pudding back. <laughs> mm. Swiping right. That's the way you swipe if you want. Oh, right. those crunchy parts. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. The the um egg bread that we used has some little sesame seeds on it, which is a nice little bit of extra texture. Mm -hmm. uh, not called for in the recipe, but we used chocolate chips, which yeah. Mm, oh, there's good salt in here and the butter. And um, I. This is really good. This is a uh, 